Now that you've learned the basics of Git symbols, I'd like to introduce you to another method to import data into your R session. Quandl is a data service that provides access to many financial and economic data sets from various providers. Many data sets can be accessed for free, but some of them require a paid subscription. Quandl provides an application programming interface, or API, that allows you to import data from a wide variety of languages, including Excel, Ruby, Python, and of course R. The R package is also called Quandl, and it contains a function that you will learn to use to import data from the Quandl databases. The function name is, you guessed it, Quandl. So let's compare the Quandl function with Git symbols. Both functions provide access to multiple data sources. While Git symbols can create an object for you, the Quandl function always returns the data it imports, so you need to assign that data to an object. And recall that with Git symbols, you use the symbols and source arguments to specify the instrument and data source. With Quandl, the instrument and data source are specified by one single argument named code. Note that the data source is first, and then a forward slash, and then the instrument. Like Git symbols, the Quandl function can import the data into several different classes of objects, including a data frame, an XTS object, or zoo object, or a TS object from the stats package, or a time series object from the time series package in the R metrics suite. You can control the classes of the object it returns by changing the type argument. Another difference between Git symbols and Quandl is that Git symbols returns an XTS object by default, while Quandl function returns a data frame by default. Now, it's your turn to practice using the Quandl function.